hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so as you understand this is very important video about the choice 3 and choice 4 and lot of students get confused between the two reject and upgrade and reject and withdraw so that is what i am going to cover so don't do this mistakes this is very different thing right so choice 3 is basically reject and upgrade so what does choice 3 means Choice 3 students first will need to pay the fees, right? So like choice 2 students, choice 3 students are also required to pay fees. Total fees will be shown in your allotment, right? Even if you don't like the college, you are rejecting the college, you still need to pay the fees. That is the Comet K rule, right? And they are paying the fees so they can participate in the next round of counseling. They can add, modify and remove their choice filling order from the current uh, what they have done in the round one. They can add new colleges, they can modify, reorder the colleges and they can remove the colleges also. Right. You have paid the fees. You can do the seat cancellation right after round one which you can cancel the seat what you are paying fees today. You can cancel after round two also you will be given five, six days where you can cancel the seat if you have done this option right choice 3 so good news is that you can cancel the seat after round 3 also that is also allowed but what is not allowed is that you cannot cancel the seat after round 4 so if you cancel the seat after round 4 you are not going to get any refund from the counseling process right so even reject and upgrade students can cancel the seat up to round 1 round 2 round 3 very important thing this is very risky choice because it may happen that even the seat which you are getting today the same seat you may not get in the next round because some more students would change their choice filling order and so on right so this you should do only if you are definitely true that i don't want to study in this college whatever happens right this is so bad college then only you will have to exercise this choice otherwise accept and upgrade is more better choice so hope you understood that is what it says you will not be able to participate in any further round of counseling. So don't do this, right? It means you are not able to participate in any other round of counseling. It can be done without paying fees, right? So once you are not happy with any Comet K seat and you don't want to participate, you don't pay fees, you just do this and exit from the counseling. So there is no provision for paying the fees also in this option. So hope you understood that this option is not a seat cancellation. Some students are thinking that they will do reject and withdraw and money will come into account. No, this is not that. This is exiting from the counseling. If you want to cancel the seat and you want to get the refund, there will be cancellation link which will be given from where you can cancel the seat and get the refund. This is not that option. And if you don't choose any of the four choices, right, which I mentioned earlier, then it clearly means reject and withdraw. So though you are not doing reject and withdraw with your hand, but since you are not choosing any of these four, system will consider as reject and withdraw and you will be out of the counseling.